it's Saturday and our door is open for once. Hey. Hi. We've got Liam on his little leash and playing with his new foraging toy and you basically just put treats and things inside and it keeps him occupied. He's so smart that it doesn't last that long. But oh my goodness, it's so nice to have the door open and just I don't feel like it's spring. I don't know if you can see the tree back there and this tree right here. Yeah, little mister kept us up for a lot of last night and so um, neither of us are super stoked about that today and we're pretty tired. But, you know, he's a cat. What do you do? Shaking the car anyway. We're in Big Sur. Look at this. <gasps> I gotta clean the camera. What? Said my only complaint is your car isn't tall enough. My car isn't tall enough. No, that's, that's true. It's cute. <laughs> yeah, you can't really sit up, can you? <laughs> no. I guess you can sit on the, the edge of the ledge. I can sit here and okay. then I'm you can sit here? able to sit up right. <laughs> Never mind, you don't get to talk. So this is where we had our first date back in COVID. Like Sir, like the actual park wasn't open. And so we got Chipotle and I think I paid for the gift card. I think you offered and I got nervous and so I paid. <laughs> Not that that matters. And then we came out. Oh, you felt like you could reject me. I did reject him a few hours later. I didn't know it was a date. You never called it a date. You just said we were hanging out. That's not what I said at all. Yeah, you said come hang out with me in Big Sur. You never said it was a date. You did not say come hang out with me. You said spending the day with me. You never said it was a date. So anyway, we came out here and then we talked for a long time and laughed and it was just easy and fun. And then we went to Monterey and then he started holding my hand. And then I said I wanted to be friends. And then two weeks later we were dating. What? So you forgot the whole story in between. What story in between? You said, I don't, I just want to be friends. And I said, okay, that's fine. And then we got lunch the next day. And then that next weekend, <clears throat> we hung out and watched movies together. And then you said, do you want to meet my parents? Yeah. And then I said, do you want me to meet your parents? She said, yes, I do want you to meet my parents. And I said, I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh -huh. But whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. It all worked out. You put me through the ringer. <laughs> A little bit. So, yeah, he was at school on Valentine's Day, so this is our Valentine's Day. Really part nice. two. Part two. Yeah, part two. What? Coffee? Why do you smell like coffee? Mm. morning Kenneth. It is Sunday. I've got the cat playing with his foraging toy and I have a Galentine's party today. So I'm trying a new recipe. I'm gonna make a butter candle. If you've never heard of a butter candle. Here's kind of what we're dealing with. Oh no, is it not gonna load? No! Hold on, the internet's today. But basically you take butter that you have softened and you mash it up and put it into a mold with a wick and you can actually light it and as it melts you can like scoop up the butter with your bread and so i'll show you what i've already done i went and bought some wicks from nickels yesterday just like regular old cotton wicks i know that some people have said because it's for food consumption you need to use beeswax this is all they had so Got some wicks. And then I knew I needed a mold and a lot of people said that you could use a paper clip or a plastic cup. I don't have one. So I just wrapped actually the bottom of my cleaning spray. That sounds bad, but wrapped it in drain wrap and then just it somehow fit into our cup. Put that in there and then I'm going to just put my wick in the bottom. And then I've been softening some butter for a couple of hours. I was helping Kellen make his lunch this morning because he is at school today and so turned on the air fryer and then put our butter on top. So I'm just gonna stick butter in here and then start like mashing it up and then we're gonna make it into compound butter. Just 
Oh no. Oh man, I was just talking for like five minutes. Okay, I was just gonna say the butter has been sitting for a couple of hours softening, so this is actually not that hard. And I've been trying to figure out what flavor to do. I'm thinking kind of like a cinnamon, honey butter sort of deal. Over Christmas, we went to Texas Roadhouse and I had been hearing about Texas Roadhouse for forever through Pinterest because people were always trying to make copycat versions of their rolls. But more than their rolls, they talk about the cinnamon butter, right? Totally worth the hype. That stuff is amazing. I had trouble wanting to eat that. I think I liked it more than my meal. It was amazing. So I was thinking maybe some kind of sweeter butter. I was gonna go 10 minutes away to the little bakery and see what kind of bread they have today and see like what flavors would go better with it. But honestly, it's kind of hard to go wrong with cinnamon butter. Um, last time we went, they had all sorts of sourdough and we ended up getting, I think, a rosemary walnut, I wanna say. Anyway, it was really, really good. So yeah, that'll be fun to share. Haven't done a Galentine's in a while. We did our little Valentine's thing yesterday and we created our first date. We didn't bring a guitar on our first date, but not to Big Sur with Chipotle. We ate it out of the back of the car and just like sat on the cliffs and sang some worship. And we even brought our little tripod and some and got some some fun pictures. Yeah, it's been sweet. This is just such a different season of life with Calvin starting school up again and just gone a lot more. So we're kind of just trying to get that quality time in wherever we can. And even if it was just making his lunch and some breakfast this morning, I will take it. I mean, I think especially when you're newly married, you're kind of trying to establish rhythms and systems and things that kind of work for you and your family. And we have really had to kind of just go with the go with it, like go with the flow because his schedule changes so much uh, with work and mine really doesn't. That's the one thing that's been good for us is just really investing in time with each other, even if it's just a little bit of time being really intentional and being intentional to like make sure we look each other in the eye because it can be really easy to just do stuff side by side and then not really connect or trying to stay off our phones when we're around each other just because we have so little time together. I feel like that's it it can be really beautiful even if you don't have um, a lot of time with your spouse, so. That is looking all mixed up and it's gonna go here, in here, <laughs> not my body, after I flavor it. So let's figure out a flavor. a lot lately so uh yeah oh man what's it so i think it's time for us out of the fridge okay i think i'm actually gonna make the texas roadhouse butter so Andrew says you need butter powdered sugar so three quarters of a cup that is a lot of sugar honey and cinnamon like honey and or butter or cinnamon or sugar these are just all the best things i was meant to be a hobbit okay that was kind of a workout but here is what it is looking like i was a little bit nervous because the powdered sugar started making it look kind of hard it looked like i had added a bunch of flour to it but this looks good and oh, second. i want this with some of my pretzel this is really why you bake. I mean, yes, to bring it to people and enjoy community and all that jazz, but it's it's really this. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's the stuff. That's Texas Red House butter. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, so now is sort of the moment of truth because I've got to get all of this in here with a wick. So I'm just gonna try just like sticking a little bit in the bottom oh boy this is a little hard 
Uh, <laughs> okay, I need something else. So we're gonna try just like keeping that down at the bottom and then maybe helping to get it in. Okay, okay, I can see this working. It's not gonna be perfect, but we can certainly do our best. I'm gonna try and scoop this big old portion down in there. Oh boy. <laughs> Talk to my friend Hannah about like real candle making and ask her if it's as difficult as trying to smash butter into a cup full of saran wrap. She'd probably say, you're crazy. Why are you trying to smash butter in a cup full of saran wrap? And I'd say because it's really cute, or at least it should be. <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying. Yeah, I've kind of figured it out. You have to sort of kind of smash the butter in and then just keep pulling the wick up to the center. And you can see that it is filling up the bottom. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. So here it is, got our wick <laughs> sticking out of the top and I'm gonna throw this in the fridge and chill for a couple of hours before we run to pick up some bread. Hopefully this comes out. This may be the weirdest experiment ever, but it also could be really cute and really good. And well, it is really good. I've tasted it. I also like that it looks sort of marbled and just like homemade and homey and fun. So I think I'm gonna put it on um, a little wooden platter. Maybe not wood. Maybe I don't want my wood all buttery. I'll put it on something cute and um, I will show you. Okay, so change of plans. I'm gonna go make some bread at mom and dad's house because I still need to go pick up my present for Calvin. And so I think mom's gonna help me go do that at the mall. So he is not here today, so it's kind of nice to hang up his little birthday banner. So that's really exciting. Got all dressed. And now I'm just trying to grab the last few things because I have a feeling that I'll probably end up over there. I'll be over there for a long time. And then I'll just have to go straight to the Galentine's thing. So I'm gonna figure out how to load up the butter candle and then get going. Mom and dad aren't here yet, so just enjoying the TV <laughs> and the couch. I love our couch and it was gifted and it was free. Coworker last year who was moving and it is so wonderful, but man, I so appreciate couches that have a headrest now. Maybe one day, maybe one day we'll, we'll be there, but uh, that day is not today. So yeah, just hanging out with Rui. She ran off somewhere. All right, hi, Kenna. All right, so made this bread and then this is the candle and I'm gonna try and take it out. This might actually not work with one hand. Yeah, could you hold this or? Okay, okay so I'm gonna pull it out and then I need to unwrap it. I hope it doesn't look horrible. Let's see, oh no. It doesn't look bad. It just looks a little, bit, we'll, a little bit lumpy. I probably oh, some, you, you know what I could do is put some brown sugar or something. Yeah, we've got all kinds of stuff. We can... Oh, there's the wick. I even have like nuts that you can roll if you want. That'd be kind of cute. Okay, so there's the candle. I think it's cute. I'm going to trim it. Ooh, do you have a lighter? Yes, we have a lighter. I was going to show that you can actually right there. Look how cute. Yeah. It's a butter candle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We like it. Oh, yeah. There's always going to be another mountain. I'm always going to want to make it move. It's not for you. It's not for you.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Calvin. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! How many times do you hear that? Oh, <laughs> it's pretty rare. rare. Yeah. this vlog I've just sort of been writing it I was so happy and then I got a cold and just kept forgetting but I wanted to close it out and oh and give you a couple of updates that's really funny you can still see the happy birthday banner there's not a whole lot to celebrate in March I love St. Patrick's Day that's coming up but until then we'll keep the birthday banner up so at the beginning of this video you'll remember that Liam was outside on the deck and we were trying to kind of give him like new opportunities for play and he just has so much energy that we finally just started letting him outside and you can see that he's napping in the middle of the day because I let him out for like four hours today. all of the no cats, outdoors people will probably be pretty pretty mad about this, but I, I needed to. He was running around in the middle of the night and keeping me up and we live in a studio and there's kind of nowhere to put him. So it's just good for him. We don't let him out when there are predators like in the early morning and the evening. So, so far it's been doing or doing wonders for his sleep schedule and, and ours. He has been hunting. We've had some gross encounters with animals he's been hunting, but you know what? He's happy and we're happy he's happy. So that's one thing. The other thing is just some stuff I've been learning in this kind of weird season of like Calvin going to school. Obviously like he's been in school, two different school settings, like when we were dating and then when we were first married. And so now he's back in school for a limited amount of time. And I just realized the other day, a couple of cool things. One, that he finishes school on Easter and he started the first week of Lent. And if you don't know what Lent is, it's this season of like preparing our hearts for Easter. Christians have been selling, celebrating it for a very long time. And it's not in the Bible, but it it is taken from like the 40 days Jesus spent in the desert. 40 is in the Bible a lot. So it's a period of 40 days and a lot of people celebrate it by taking something out of their lives that isn't furthering their personal walk with Jesus. And I personally like to look at it as, what am I gonna add that's gonna help me to benefit my walk with the Lord? And it's just been kind of funny realizing that this season of Lent is the season where our schedules are different and I don't get to see him as much. But I've also had more time to spend just alone with the Lord and that's been really, really sweet. I spent a couple of hours at the coffee shop this morning just preparing for a message that I'm gonna give this week for our young adult ministry and it's about Hagar and how in Genesis 16, you know, she runs off into the desert because she's been mistreated and she's done some things wrong and then God comes and meets her there and she calls him El Roy or the God who sees me. And I just think it's really beautiful because in all of the times in our lives where we feel like nobody else sees us or nobody wants us or who could who could ever love us, you know, we see that God, God does and he sees us and he loves us. And I have just in the last few weeks felt him seeing me. And so it's just been sweet. I'm, I'm learning to, to do more things on my own. I've also just been learning some like little, I don't know, life hacks in this season. So I don't love going and getting groceries by myself. And so I have been doing mobile order and that's actually been sweet. I've also just had more time home. So I've been cooking more and I mean, I've always cooked, but sometimes I could rely on like Calvin to make some of the meals since he's just not here. I've been cooking more, but I've actually really been enjoying it. And sometimes I'm like, can I just do this? Like, can I just be home and, and like, I don't know, make meals. And anyway, one day I'd like to do that one day, but it's been kind of just a sweet time of learning to do that and gaining confidence in that. And yeah, so I've just been asking God to walk with me in this season and I was very scared going into it, but it's been sweet. 
it's actually been sweet. So anyway, those are just some little, little updates. I still need to figure out dinner and um, I think I'm actually going to meet him after he's off school and we're going to go see uh, Jesus Revolution at the movies because I haven't seen, I don't remember the last time I went to the movies to be honest and I miss it. I love it. We used to go all the time because we lived so close to the movie theater. So very excited for that. Excited to, yeah, just, just for spring coming. I mean, I'm, I'm getting out all my like flower cups and flower dresses and I just we had snow a couple of weeks ago and that's great but I'm kind of over it so very excited for just newness and life and spring so anyway I miss you I love you and yeah I'll see you later bye cheers